Hi there, it's that Lion for RubberAsylum.net. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, do-it-yourself lubricants. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using J Lube, um, and we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff with it. So, obviously, a lot of people know the uh, different types of products on the internet and uh, available through your local stores. Um, things like silicone lubes, which are your uh, typically kind of thin lubricants that have a pretty good coating quality. There's also lubricants like um, HIM here. HIM is uh, a cream-based lubricant, also works excellently. Um, there's uh, cum-like lubricants, there's even uh, specialty lubricants for things like fisting that are incredibly thick and have a very good coating quality to them. So we're going to kind of discuss some of the ways you can use J-Lube to make a lot of these different types of products. Um, J-Lube itself, when you finish it up, comes out to this sort of... Um, thin, viscous, stringy kind of thin lubricant, uh, similar to the silicones. The only difference is, is, as you can see, it tends to string up very highly, making it a little bit messier to work with than a lot of lubricants. Um, however, I actually am also going to show you guys a, a recipe that I use at home. Uh, this is also a J-Lube-based uh, lubricant. However, it comes out to a cream that melts on uh, human contact and it turns into a very excellent slick lubricant. Um, it all has essential oils of lavender and eucalyptus in it which really help um, um, which really help loosen the, uh, uh, the muscle walls, their natural muscle relaxants. So we're going to talk a little bit about that stuff today. Um, go ahead and come on over here. Um, so J-Lube normally comes in a powdered form. Um, it's uh, very easy to use. You can get it inexpensively off of uh, Amazon.com or uh, sites like Mr. S, things like that. It uh, comes in this sort of uh, powder here, as you can see. The, uh, the powder mixes with water, um, under, uh, especially well with heat and things like that. Generally, people will add other uh, lubricant bases to them, mineral oil, baby oil, and uh, even your silicone-like products in them if they're mixing them into a thin liquid like this. Uh, for the sake of us today, we're actually going to be um, using coconut oil as the, uh, as the other base for it. So this is uh, easily gotten at Walmart or uh, Kroger or you know Giant Eagle, whatever your grocery store is. And um, it's definitely quite excellent. So the things we're going to need to make this, I know I kind of have a club, um, but really we're going to need J-Lube, coconut oils, um, these right here are my essential oils of lavender and eucalyptus. These are actually in the um, higher end pharmaceutical grade category. They're not your normal essential oils you might find at Walmart. You can pick those again up online fairly inexpensively. And the last thing that you're going to need, this is whether you're adding these uh, uh, essential oils or not, is going to be emulsifying wax. This is called uh, polysorbate. This particular is polysorbate 60. You can get polysorbate 20, 40, and 60. 60 is designed much more for creams. The 20 and the 40 are designed for things like um, perfumes and things like that. So we want to get the, the polysorbate 60. Um, this fairly large quantity of it, I got off eBay for about five bucks. So it's really not going to run you too much uh, as far as cost goes. The, um, the uh, coconut oil, again, probably five, six bucks. The J-Lube itself was $15. This will make about six gallons of lubricant. So again, very inexpensive project overall. Um, I've had all these supplies sitting around for a couple months. And I haven't had to buy lube and I've spent about 35 bucks versus this, which runs $40. And if you're like me, you'd be running out very quickly. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to get started making J-Lube. Uh, as far as the base goes, we're going to end up coming out with something like this. Uh, to, start, to start making J-Lube, what you're going to need is you're going to need some um, water. And we're just going to go ahead and microwave that water to get it good and hot. 
Uh, it's going to take a couple minutes to get it hot, but um, we want to make sure it's really good and hot before we do this. Um, off to the side here, I have uh, about three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. Um, coconut oil naturally is a uh, thick paste. So what I've done is I've just simply heated it up a little bit and gotten it back down to a, uh, a pure oil state. Now, what's great about coconut oil and using it for this product, um, when you, uh, coconut oil turns from liquid, or solid to liquid, around 70 some degrees, 77 I think is what it is. So it's excellent because that's, your body temperature is going to be well above that. It's going to stay like a cream and then turn into a liquid as you use it. So it becomes an excellent, excellent um, base carrier for our, our lubricant here. Also, um, it's antimicrobial. So it's great because it'll keep things sanitary and clean when you're not using the lubricant. It'll make sure stuff doesn't grow in there. So here we've got is our, just our trusty uh, hand mixer. Give it a couple more minutes, we'll have our water ready. Um, I'm sorry to say I'm not going to have a lot of direct measurements on this, but I am going to kind of give you guys close-ups so you can see how much of what I'm using, and I'm going to try to approximate the, uh, the measurements that I'm using. Uh, I am microwaving a lot more water than I'm actually going to use, because you need to be able to have some hot water left over to... Um, kind of go back and forth and adjust how thick or viscous you want your base lubricant. Um, that being said, I'll kind of still got a little bit of time on the microwave here. Um, these oils, eucalyptus and lavender, they're really excellent for lubricants, um, especially because they are designed to relax muscles. Uh, other things you can use in there would be clove oil, um, uh, you could also use uh, um, rosemary oil and a couple other things as well. So it's excellent for um, relaxing those muscles and uh, really making anal play a lot more fun. All right, got about, that should be good and warm. By this point, yeah, it's good. Good and hot and steamy. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just take some of this water, pour it into a, uh, go ahead and use the big one here, the larger mixing container. And we just want to, kind of want to go for a splash. Really, there's not a whole lot of J-Lube used in this recipe. It's just enough to add some, uh, some good extra um, lubrication to the coconut oil. So here you can see I'm probably putting in maybe a teaspoon or two of, uh, of the J-Lube powder. Again, start small um, because you can always add more J-Lube, but you'll really start... Um, with a big batch if you start out with more water than, than what you need. So uh, now we're just going to go ahead and kind of whip this up on high. You'll see a lot of clumps. You'll see a lot of clumps in JLU. So you want to make sure that you beat out all the clumps. So go ahead and kind of get, get a close up and. There we go. Now, as you can see, that um, pulled into the mixer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit more water into that mix. Again, just thin. As you can see, this stuff ends up being a lot like, um, like uh, well, snot, really. It's um, long, really stringy. Now, if you want a thinner J-Lube, 
uh, mix, you can actually use the blender instead. Uh, again, it's excellent for mixing and uh, it's great for that. Now, this is mostly mixed up. You can see there's still a couple little clumps in there. Um, to me, that's fine because we're going to be doing a lot more mixing with it later. Uh, if you're just going to be using J-Lube plain from here, you're pretty much done. Uh, you'd want to do some more mixing just to make sure, again, that it's um, fully, fully mixed in. But then after letting it sit for a little bit, it's pretty much good to go. Again, if you wanted to add something like a silicone or anything else like that, here's where you'd get a chance to do that, further mix it in. But as far as basic J-Lube, you're done. But because we're going more advanced, what we're going to be doing here now is we're actually going to be transferring this, a small portion of it, you know, maybe, uh, I guess it's probably about a quarter of a quarter or so. Um, and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding our emulsifying wax. Um, here we're going to be adding, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of round it up to an even uh, tablespoon or so. Uh, but depending on how much you're making, you might want to add more or less. Uh, I haven't really found a good hard numbered ratio for how much emulsifying wax to add to a mix. So I generally start around this amount for the batch that I'm making. And uh, I'm good to go. It's kind of breaking up the big clump in there. but um, So from here, we need to melt the wax so it's back into the microwave for about another minute. Go ahead and empty out the rest of this water and transfer this while we're waiting. Um, quick note, everything that you're seeing, all of my implements, the funnel, the bottle, everything has been completely sanitized. One thing you have to remember about making J-Lube at home versus other lubricants is that we aren't adding anything to uh, extend the shelf life of our lube. Uh, this is a protein base, which means little nasty critters can come in and munch on it. Uh, I generally keep mine in the fridge or even in the freezer. In fact, J-Lube um, uh, uh, ice cubes is one of my favorite ways to lube. It's a perfect dose. It coats evenly as you insert it. Um, another fun, fun way of using J-Lube. Um, but uh, so everything here has been totally sanitized and clean. Uh, make sure to do that thoroughly before you get started on uh, on any on any lube project. So uh, transferring the excess there. All right. Now you can see that wax has gotten thoroughly melted. It's turned it into this sort of white, milky uh, substance. What that's going to let us do is it's going to make sure that the J lube binds thoroughly to the coconut oil. Um, so now we're going to kind of go back to our mixing oil, our mixing bowl here. We're going to pour that in. And I'm going to go ahead and at this point add in, um, I generally go about 10 drops of each. Again, how much you want. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, how much you, you put in is up to you. So, um, I personally like the smell of the, the lavender and the eucalyptus. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Um, I personally love the smell of it, so I don't mind kind of going heavy. So now what we're going to do is, again, just mixer in one hand, oil in the other. Slowly mix in the oil. You want to make sure that it gets with the other ones, otherwise you could deal with separation. As you can see, it still pulls away from the bowl a bit, and that lets us know that we have a good quantity of J-Lube to coconut oil. Now, obviously, I've got a lot left. Again, I probably want about 50-50 between the mix of coconut oil and J-Lube. But what we have now is we've got a, a thin liquid that's, again, viscous. It coats very nice. Uh, it's excellent. What's going to happen is, is as this mixture cools, it's going to set up a little bit more 
into the uh, pudding-like consistency we have in our final product. So as you can see, it's kind of really thick and creamy and overall excellent. Um, one thing that can happen over time with this mixture is that it will separate uh, just because we have oil and water. Um, if that's the case, that means you used um, too little emulsifying wax in your mixture. Uh, so again, next batch, you can just increase everything up. But overall, here we have a pretty good quantity of lube that really probably only cost me a dollar fifty or two dollars. Um, so excellent, guys. That's uh, J Lube and uh, my special mix of J Lube 101. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments or uh, let me know on my Twitter at, at that Drew Lion. Uh, I'll be pleased to answer any questions you guys have. Thanks so much. Have a good one.